and I are here. I'm Mrs. Nelson and we're reporting here from um, just the outskirts of the, the, the school playground. Um, we uh, are going to let you know about some of the fun activities that are going to be going on at Kennedy Community School uh, in the month of February. And some of the things that uh, we like to do during winter is I love to sled. What do you like to do, Mrs. Rourke? I love to go fishing and making snowmen and building igloos. Excellent. Well, you know what? I, I know Kennedy kids here like to do that stuff too. One of the other things that I know that they like to do is read. And because it's I Love to Read Month, uh, we wanted to let you know that uh, we want to celebrate that in the month of February. And we're excited, as you can see. Um, and in some of those winter books uh, that we're going to be reading, uh, or a lot of them are, have to do with winter, but that isn't the only books that you have to read during the month of February. Um, and, and, oh my gosh, oh, I got the big one. <laughs> Mrs. Rur. I, I'm feeling um, kind of uh, like your fish is bigger than mine. I think my fish is bigger than yours. Okay, well, you know, you do, you, you are very good at fishing, um, and, and, I'll, and, and that's okay. No competition. However, I do know you that you do know a lot about books. Um, do, you, do you have any in the ice house? You know, I always bring my books with me. Let me get a few. Okay, excellent. Um, while Mrs. Ruhr is getting some of our books that we brought with us on our ice um, fishing excursion today here at Kennedy, um, I wanted to, to challenge you um, to read uh, some of these books and I'll explain in a little bit here in our in our um, broadcast about how you can show all the books that you read. Because I was wondering, do you know how many lakes are in Minnesota? Oh, at least 10,000. Yeah, you're right. There are. That's what we're known for. And so we were thinking that, you know, do you think Kennedy kids could read 10,000 books in the month of February? Do you think? Uh, I know they can. Well, we certainly have enough books for kids to read. Um, but you don't have to read just the ones at Kennedy. You can read any book that you want. And we'll explain how you can show us that and build your own ice fishing reading um, project to share in your class um, for the month of February. But that's coming next. Show us what books you have, Mrs. Rur. All right. I have one by Jan Brett, The Three Snow Bears. Oh, fabulous. I love her. We, she's amazing. And I have one, it's called The Blizzard by oh. John Rocco. And hopefully we'll get a blizzard this year. Oh, do you remember that blizzard back in 89? Oh, it was so bad, that but was, it was so much fun. It was, it was Halloween. That was bad for trick or treating. Oh, I know. Okay, sorry, off topic. Okay, and then I have one, it's called The Ice Palace by oh. Deborah Blumenthal. Wow, and you know what? In St. Paul, it's the Winter Carnival. Did I you know. know that you could go and see the Winter um, Carnival castle made out of ice? Oh, it is so cool and it's colorful too. Oh my goodness. So, okay, you can ask us about that in the library too. Okay, and I have one more. This is my favorite, The Snowball Fight by Jimmy Fallon. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that snowball fight stuff at school. Oh, not at school. Oh, okay, Save that okay. for home. Okay. Save that for home. All right, all right. Well, that's good. Those are some of our winter books that we're super excited about. We hope you can check them out at Kennedy. One Frozen Lake by Deborah Jo Larson. Here's a little part from Deborah Jo Larson's book she's going to share with us when she visits Kennedy. One pink sun finds one frozen lake. Two busy friends mark, drill, and scrape. Three trays of tackle. Sinkers, spoons, and spins. Four watery holes, tunnels to peek in. Oh, more great books! Day of Winter by Dennis Fleming. Animals in Winter by Henrietta Bancroft and Richard G. Van Gelder. Wonder by R.J. Palacio.
Snowman at Night by Carolyn Buner. Fever by Lois Lowry. Flora and the Penguin by Molly Idol. The Long Winter by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Blizzard by John Rocco. Candy Makers by Wendy Moss. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Winter, The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Star Wars Jedi Academy by Jeffrey Brown. Brian's Winter by Gary Paulson. Back to Kennedy for more breaking news. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. What? What are you reading in there that you have to keep such a big secret? Can't I know? Well, I suppose. I mean, I'll tell you, I guess. What? Should we tell all the Kennedy kids? Hey, Kennedy kids, you want to know what we're reading? The secret book? Come on out, Mrs. Nelson. Woo! Man, it's cold out here. Well, I have to tell you, I, it's been hard, you know, to keep secrets. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but, I know that. You know, um, so I, I do have to tell you, Kennedy kids, and, that we are reading for one district, one book, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Yay! Woo! Yeah! Awesome book. Okay, now I'm not going to tell you about this book because you are going to read that at home. And guess what? You get your own free copy. Anybody in a family, you get one copy. One copy per family. And guess what's in there? A really awesome bookmark. Bookmark that tells you, hey, you know what? These are the chapters. And you think, well, certain chapters? Guess what? We're going to ask you trivia questions. Oh, yeah. We got Woo! good trivia for you. Excellent. And you know what? Every day, you're going to hear that trivia question. And you can put your guess in one of our buckets. All you have to do is look for the bucket that has a penguin on the front that has your grade level on it. Do you think they could figure that out? Uh-huh, and it'll be in the library. Excellent. Right on that desk checkout table there. Um, by me. Counter by Mrs. Ruhr, of course. Because you know what? If your name gets picked, you get to win a prize. Oh, we got some good prizes. Excellent. What do you think penguins like to eat? Hmm. Probably fish. Fish, I think you're right. Maybe that has something to do with the prize that you get. I don't know, you never know what I come up with, you know. But inside of that, if you don't just like fish, every family gets this really cool coupon to go to Cold Stone Creamery. Oh, Ooh, we yeah. love ice cream. Oh, you betcha. You know what, ice cream at Cold Stone, mm, it's the best. It's the bomb. Now. Also on the back because my second favorite place besides Barnes and Noble as you know as a, yes I know crafts direct oh now crafts direct they're so awesome because guess what I like to make stuff you can tell by you know building igloos and sign you know I, I, I tell you you know what Saturdays in February from 10 to noon you get to make a craft specifically about penguins. Can you believe that? Oh, that is just too awesome. I know, I hear you. And so I, I would love to see any projects that you might make there at Crafts Direct and, and bring them there right into the library and show Yeah, us. you betcha. Okay, so that's 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 what we got for you today. Uh, Mr. Popper's Penguin. This All right. Woo! And we challenge you to read 10,000 10, books. That's good, huh? All right. That was good. <laughs> Are we a bunch of corn balls or what? Oh. Penguins. Penguins are the best dressed animals on the planet. They're easy to spot. They look just like they're wearing tuxedos. They have a cute, elegant walk. And can even say, how do you do? <coughs> but they also like to have fun sliding on their bellies. Whee! Penguins are the champions of sliding and swimming. It helps them escape their biggest predators, seals and orcas. They live in cold climates, in places such as Antarctica. That's why they have special feathers that keep them warm in water. Have you ever seen a penguin wearing a jumper? No, that would be silly. 
What else makes the penguin special? Well, they're a bird that can't fly. But they can swim just like a fish. So, what makes them a bird? Well, they still have a beak, wings, feathers, and lay eggs. Oh, look! Baby penguins! to tea. When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins are tension. Penguins begin. Right, Flipper. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins are tension. Penguins begin. Right, Flipper. Left, Flipper. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, left flipper, right leg. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, left flipper, right leg, left leg. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea. When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, left flipper, right leg, left leg, head. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, left flipper, right leg, left leg, head. Turn around! Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, left flipper, right leg, left leg, head. Turn around, penguin sound! <laughs> Oh, it's gold. I'm gonna be, I'll sit in there. Oh, and you'll say, what is this secret book you bed? Um, what else, what do you like to do? Uh, build igloos, yeah, snowman. Ig igloos are good, it's cold though, it's mm -hmm. cold though. Yeah, um, it is. Um, I heard that Kennedy um, was ha had an igloo indoors. Oh, we do, it's pretty cool. Wow, you know, I, I hope that everybody comes Sorry by. Sorry for the interruption, just letting everyone know.